Guys, welcome back. Believe it or not, we're going to do another MTG online cube draft. Mitgo. Mitgo cube draft. And this person's username is Can't Stop Farting. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. I feel like I know that person. And it's me. No, <laughs> I actually feel like that name is familiar. All right, well, no power. Is the power always going to be at the front? I feel like that's pretty much how it goes. But, uh, you know, what do I know? I like Animate Dead. I think Animate Dead's probably one of the stronger cards in this pack. Chandra's good. I don't want to commit to a four mana Planeswalker, though. Yeah, we're going to go Animate Dead. That's exciting. Can't stop for any issues at the top of the cube leaderboard. Yeah, that's how it goes. Oh, Tinker? Oh, we're going to be tinkering, ladies and gentlemen. That's exciting. That's easily the most exciting card in this pack. Ooh, got Tinker and Animated? That's nice. So we can actually uh, tinker away. Like, if we have a Blightsteel Colossus, we can... No, we can't do that. Dang it. If we have a Mirror Battle Sphere, we can tinker it away and then get it back with Animate Dead. Easy pick... Disallow, maybe that allow? Ah, something allow. Savannah and Sphinx's Rose, same pack, yeah. So, <laughs> you know what's gonna happen when they come back. We're gonna we're gonna take the Savannah. <laughs> I mean Savannah's solid fixing. I have no idea why he made that pick. It's unbelievable to me. My god, like what a ridiculous pick to make. Oh, what are we, blue-white? The Sphinx is red? Let's take the Savannah. Well, you gotta respect the you gotta respect the selection. The the order, I guess, so. Oh, watery grave coming up? I'm game. I would rather have an underground sea, but I'll take a watery grave too. I would also take an Ashiok. Bribery, Ashiok, and Jitte in the same pack. Mother of God. Wow, that's something right there. It's either Ashiok or Bribery. Quacker 2000, there was a, there were, we drafted in New York at a place called uh, The Strategist, The Brooklyn Strategist. And Quacker2000 saw Bribery for the first time, and he was like, this is a card? <laughs> and it was pretty hilarious. I think it's actually Bribery. Bribery is very, very strong in the Vintage Cube. I'm going to take Bribery. I passed an Ashiok. I don't feel great about it. Oh, True Name Nemesis? Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, we're going to be we're going to be nemesis and shackles. Huh. I like Misha's factory cuz you can sacrifice it to Tinker, which is super nice. Oh, wow, a Mind Twist and a Treachery? What in the hell? Why is this... It's got to be Mind Twist. Mind Twist just wins games. Treachery's great, but Mind Twist is like... All right, so it's just another blue-black deck, but all these cards are very, very good right now. And we can probably stick to the blue and the black here because we have no reason not to. Ultimate price. All right. Oh, the Savannah's left. Dang. That's unfortunate. Eh, whatever. I'm actually not a big... Sh eh, Sheldock's good. I'm not a huge Sheldock fan. I'm not going to take it over, like, good cards, but... I know Luis has a huge... Uh, he's a huge Sheldock Isle fan. Any card restricted in old school seems good. I agree with you. I agree with you. 
Oh man, I just ripped some eyelashes out. Hope I didn't need those. I'm slowly building my EGH collection, and to this day, I still have to sit back sometimes, look at old cards, and go, man, these cards are busted. Who is in charge? Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, I'm like, search target opponent's library for a creature and put it on the battlefield. You don't have to pay for it? The Jitte came back? <laughs> 11th pick Jitte is a bit much. Oh, I agree. I, I understand the implications of Sheldock, especially in 40 card decks. I get it. I'm saying, like, the odds of you hitting a great card are always not that, are not always good. Like, they're not always super high, right? Like, sometimes you'll hit, like, Mind Twist, Land, Land, Solemn Simulacrum. And getting a free Solemn Simulacrum is fine. But, like, you're usually waiting a significant amount of time. And also, like, it's it's common for people to bounce your... Oh, no. It's common for people to bounce your your Sheldock Isle or destroy it. Or, yeah, there's all, there's all kinds of things that can go wrong. It's fine. I think it's, it's good. But until you play it, until you actually activate it, it's just a land. But it is a, is it a very powerful land. You ever equip a Jitte on a True Name Nemesis? Uh, spells definitely got weaker and creatures definitely got stronger. That's been the design philosophy for quite some time now, actually. Just take the Kavu, I guess. I don't foresee us playing Nykthos. We could be Grixis, we could be Sultai. I don't think we're going to be either of those things. Yeah, like, there were no Eldrazi or Titans when Bribery was printed. There was no Gristle brand back then. So, uh... Oh, I didn't even see the 100 bits to take the Bribery. Look, we took it anyway, so we're good to go. We did it. Nailed it. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright, it's probably just Ancient Tomb here. <sighs> Skull Clamp could be good, but I don't feel like we're going to have enough creatures to really Skull Clamp. I would like a big fat artifact, dude, to get back with with Tinker, but I'm pretty sure we're just going to play Ancient Tomb here. Aleshnor doesn't seem great. Progenus doesn't seem great for us. We're not storming. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Ancient Tomb, which is pretty busted. It also lets us play Bribery on turn four with no other acceleration, so... Jace Bellerin, Recurring Nightmare, Creeping Tar Pit. All of these are pretty good. I don't think we're a Recurring Nightmare deck, unfortunately. Uh, I think I just want the Creeping Tar Pit here. Tiki Jiki as well. Yeah, we're just taking Creeping Tar Pit. Would you want to go back to Vanilla Creature and Super Strong Spells? No. No, I would not. There's more ways to deal with creatures than there are to deal with broken spells. So... Wow, Splinter Twin too, huh? Someone's getting the nuts. Um, Course of Portal is very good. Everflowing Chalice could be good here. I've got to make dinner, but I can wait for you to finish the Treasure Pride. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for the waiting. Dark Slick Shore is also just good. I like Everflowing Chalice because it goes well with Tinker, whereas I don't really want to sack our course of Portal, but I think it is stronger. And Everflowing Chalice is a pretty repeatable effect. Like, you can just get other other dumb artifacts that do similar things. Uh, Sphinx's Steelwind is an artifact that we can tinker for, but we can't really cast it. But the problem is we're probably not going to be casting anything we can tinker for anyway, like a Blightsteel Colossus or something. Hmm... I also don't mind Sword or Ophiomancer. Ophiomancer is good because we have a Jitte. I'm going to take the Ophiomancer because of the Jitte. Uh, Corpse Dance I don't care about. I don't actually like Corpse Dance in the cube. Hypnotic Spectre is actually, surprisingly, I'm a fan of it. Walking Ballista. And there's a card we can sack to Tinker. I 
I actually do like Hypnotic Spectre, but I don't want to be like double blue, double blacking on turn two. Ideally, the Dark Slick Shores comes back. I think we're just going to take Walking Ballista here. Well, basically nothing in this pack for us except for off-color Signet, which is actually not even great for us. <sighs> Might just be Restoration Angel. Probably not playing it. Compulsive Research seems good, especially with Animate Dead. Leovold, that is just disrespectful. Maybe it's actually Leovold. Maybe we're Sultai. We get to play Excavator, Green Sun Scene. Eh, those aren't great, though. I'll just take the Compulsive Research. Metalworker, huh? Yeah, I think we're just taking Metalworker. Maybe we can play around this guy and be a Metalworker deck. Now we have uh, Walking Ballista, Jitte, Shackles, Metalworker, and Coercive Portal. So that's actually not bad. Maybe we're Sultai, Frank Vapor his whole life. That is awkwardly accurate. Uh, Fatal Push and Skull Clamp. Skull Clamp and Ophiomancer is not terrible actually and we also have ultimate price cast down so i don't care about fatal push that much i'm just gonna take skull clamp especially because we have metal workers so eh, recurring nightmare is not the worst looter core with recurring nightmare and anime dead okay sword or tassigray hmm one two three four five six I want to say Tassiger. Ooh, Mana Tithe. We'll get him. Wow, we did not get uh, the Dark Slick Shores back. Sorry if this is asked recently. When is that Legacy video with Swole Mike? Uh, it's, gonna go, it's probably going to be up tomorrow at 9 p.m. 11 a.m. I think is the Vintage Draft. So, Balance is interesting. Reanimate's probably interesting. God, we don't even, like, I hate when you get to a point where you're like, well, we have a Tinker, but we haven't seen like a Blightsteel or anything, so. I think it might just be random. We already have Recurring Nightmare and Animate Dead, though. I'm more concerned with just having big guys. I might just want Frost Titan. Any thoughts on the new cards? Not yet. Not yet. But not just yet. Yeah, I'm just going to take Frost Titan. We are at a loss for big dudes, so. Just you wait. Uh, I like Glenlinger Archmage here. That's pretty good. Buried Alive, not great for our deck, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it's just Glenlinger Archmage here. Oh, Mox Ruby? And a Battle Ball? Oh, we gotta go Mox Ruby, though. I mean, worst case scenario, we don't play Tinker. So, I can deal with that. I'm not gonna pass this for a... Oh, Worm Coil's pretty good. Yeah, Worm Coil is a nice payoff. I would definitely like more, more blue black lands, but and there's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait. Oh, it's definitely catchy. It's probably in your head right now. Yeah, even off color Mox is fine. It's just you. If if Mox said add a colorless mana to your mana pool, you'd play it. So weird. I like Jace. Just you, Jace. I like Jace a lot, actually. Also, Jitte on the Luter core is pretty nice. Yeah, we'll just take the Jace. Nothing else I'm really excited about in that pack. So this is what, 35 cards? So we have... Thank you. Robot Red Robot, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. It's not Tundra. It's not Anguished on Making. It's either Blink. It's one of these three. 
I'm tempted to take this because of Metal Worker. This isn't great because of our the creatures we have. Is it just Worn Power Stone? I guess it's Worn Power Stone. Oh, this is one of the better swords, so I'm okay taking this. I don't think we're a recurring Nightmare deck, I'll be honest with you guys. I know it sucks, but... Mm, Bloodfast could be good. I could see playing that. Forge Master is not great here, unfortunately. Scrounger, any good? It's just a guy that holds a sword or a Jitte. Maybe that's good. I don't think we want a Phyrexian Arena. I'm trying to avoid double black cards for obvious reasons. Hmm. Oh, Thief of Sanity is great. Wow, that's actually really nice. Yeah, I don't know if we're tinkering here. We just have nothing to tinker into. Whereas, like, at least uh, Metal Worker can ramp us into any one of these things pretty efficiently. Anyway, any one of these, actually. Um, What's the top blue card? Are you talking about Frost Titan? Yeah, this deck is weird, but I don't think it's actually that bad. Eh, Puppeteer Click's not terrible. Prowler. What up, Polar Spur? Good seeing you, buddy. Academy Ruins. Actually, Academy Ruins might even make the deck. We have Moxery and Ancient Tomb, though, so I'm not thrilled about having a third colorless mana source, but... Yeah, because this is not a six mana card. I, I think we can actually get away with 16 lands here. I'm okay with it. So Tarpit, Ancient Tomb, maybe Academy Ruins? Like putting a... Tempted to cut the Jit, but if you put on like Metal Worker, it's pretty good. Like it doesn't have to... The creature doesn't have to die. It just has to be like... You just give it such removal protection. You're like, well, you can kill it if you like, but I'm going to draw some cards off of it. I think they cut the Worn Power Stone for Scrounger. I think that's probably better. Yeah, let's do that. All right. 8 5. So this is 8 9 sources of black. Or 8 sources of blue, 6 sources of black. 8 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think that seems fine. Nine six. Actually, we can go. We can go one more. Which is one two three four five six seven to one two three four five six seven seven eight. Yeah, that seems better. What am I up to for Christmas? Not much. Just going to the parents' house. This deck is interesting, but I think it could be very good. We definitely got a ton of artifacts. Unfortunately, they're not tinkerable, really. Just you wait. Oh, my, my matchmaking failed. That's unfortunate. Second time's a charm. Uh, 
Uh, I'll keep this this turn one metal worker hand. I don't know how good it is because we have no other artifacts and no blue sources, but having five mana on turn two can't be that bad, right? Just you wait. Because there's a million things I haven't done. <sighs> Any blue source is good. We get the looter and then we get to discard a swamp if we want to. We can leave those. We can leave those swamps behind. Because they run. Oh, my mox is better. Nahiri. I'm just gonna fire a light lightning bolt this guy. Joke's on you, I don't have any I don't have any more artifacts. Oh no. They're like, yeah, I can do the ramp thing too, bro. Oh my god, what is even happening? Uh, uh, <laughs> this is bad. It's, this is the hand that's like, I can do a bunch of cool stuff. Uh Except it's not that cool. It's just kind of efficient, but then it's not cool. I don't know what I'm saying right now, but it's it's basically... We did something real efficient. Oh, God. This doesn't tap a permanent. It just keeps it tapped, so... Oh, he just killed it. All right. That's cool. Oh, wow. But yeah, you have a Johnny to keep this tapped, so of course this is the worst land to have drawn. They also have three cards. We're doing all right. You can see Frankel Farts has entered the chat. Oh, we did it. Nailed it. All right, I don't feel terrible about this now. If we can bribery, I think we're going to be in good shape. They might actually just kill this looter because looter is real strong. I don't know if you guys are familiar with looter. Oh, he, he dead. Okay, well, I understand now. Yep. All right, one more blue source. Come on, one time. What can I steal with this? Just you wait. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Hostage taker. Probably going to steal Grim Monolith here. And then play Grim Monolith. That seems okay. Not super efficient, but it does take three mana away from them. And uh, we do have a threat to a Johnny unless they kill this. But then in which case we get to bribery. So I'm okay with all the things that are happening right now. <sighs> Yeah, that seems fine. The damage is already done. They still have six mana. This is where they go Frost Titan, keep your Creeping Tar Pit tap down again. I'm just gonna, gonna cry. God, is it gonna be a Frost Titan? Oh, hi, son. What's going on right now? Oh, man. Upheaval. I see. Well, they had no mana floating, which is okay. 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 Sanctum. Yep, that's what they play. So they had... All right. You know what? I'm not going to even keep track of it, I don't think. Do you discard a Johnny here? So you still have Worn Power Stone, Grim Monolith, and Johnny. Those are three. I know you had other lands.
Yep, monolith into power stone again. Okay, well. I kind of want to just play Glenelander Archmage next turn. We can just go Island, Ruby. Like if... Oh, they exiled the Ajani, so I actually don't have to worry about that now, which is pretty nice. We'll just play this, and we'll play the Mox because I don't want to have to discard, so... All right, well, one, they're going to untap with one, two, four mana. We get to untap with one, two, three, four as well. We get to play Glenelander Archmage. I don't think we're dead. He says that's 16 life. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, there's some tapping. I was like, what's going on here? So now they have three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. That's a lot. Well, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's just more mana. So they're definitely an upheaval deck, but upheaval being in the graveyard is good, especially when you have all this mana. Yeah, that's fine. Is this four? Yeah, we might just block here. They have three cards. I'm pretty sure I don't want to take four here. I'd rather just get bribery next turn. Um, reason being that if we take four now, we're going to have to bribery next turn. And we're going to take another two from Ancient Tomb. Oh boy, maybe that's the play. One, two, three, four, five. We need four. So we can actually mind twist and keep up Glenlinger Archmage, which I think we're going to do. This feels safer than Briberine. Oh, through the breach. Okay. Well then. One, two, three. Super Mad Lad, thank you so much for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. Something's happening. Activation. Hey, <laughs> Frank Medium fan. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think we're going to take five here. Um, No, I'm just going to block. They have no cards in hand. Uh, we're, if we took five here, we then we go to a lot less from the... Uh, from the raging, like we we take five and then we go to we go to five, and I, I'm not really in the the business of going to five here. All right, let's see what we got here. You got a million mana, so maybe you got something good. Woodfall Primus, Blightsteel Colossus. Let's go Blightsteel because, uh, well, for obvious reasons. Because if they have a way to uh, kill the Woodfall Primus, then they just get they just get it back, and then it's terrible for us. Can you imagine if they just drew something to get their Blight Steel back, like Snapcaster Upheaval? Ugin, I don't think that does anything actually. I think you're dead. Yeah, you can shoot me for thrice. And now you die to your own blight steel, hoisted by your own blighty petard. Stop. He's looking again. <laughs> you ignorance. Wow, that's great, actually. Get wrecked to your own blight steel, my, my dude. All right, so unfortunately, our sideboard's not very good. For anything, really. Yeah, I don't think we're boarding anything in here. 
Warren Power Stone could be good just because they do have um, uh, they do have upheaval, so I kind of want to have a bunch of artifacts or a bunch of ramp as well to just ramp into. I'll take Walking Ballista out, I guess, or Skull Clamp. Walking Ballista might be better. I don't know. I think they're both good. Hmm. I don't want to cut creatures, and I also don't want to cut artifacts. We can cut Animate Dead. I don't think that's great here. All right. Yep, this is not the hand we're looking for. Mulliganos. This is a much better hand. Wow, turn one, Warren Power... Uh, turn... Ooh, no, that's not how that works. Um, I'm going to bottom this. We don't have any black cards. And I would rather a second blue. It's, it's kind of a risky thing, but we kind of want some more things to do other things. <laughs> Good luck, don't lose until I get back. I'll see what I can do. Oh, now we're feeling bad. gonna go island here next turn i play warm power stone which is pretty okay our, our opening is much less exciting so yep that's a good dude it's been a while since i've been able to catch a stream live on the kfc shortage guy <laughs> If you remember me, it's fine. If you don't, so I'll just sit in the corner. KFC is fine now, so I have nothing to discuss. Super Mad Lad, I definitely remember the KFC shortage. They were just out of chicken. They had no chicken. So I definitely remember that. That was pretty memorable. I can't imagine a situation where, where I don't remember that. Man, that was good times. Oh, the great KFC shortage of, of 2018. Yeah, they have a lot of things happening right now, but they don't have much mananas. Yes, we have no mananas. Is it better to just play this or just play like Looter this turn? Probably this, because next time we can Scrap Heap Scrounger. And if we hit a Black Source, we can go Thief Scrounger, which is pretty good. That's a good dude. Let's see what we're, let's see what we're giving you. Oh, you're just making a four four. A bold strategy, Cotton. It's not that bold. It's a four four. Okay, okay, okay. No second blue, which is one, two, three, four. We have six mana. This sucks because we're gonna have to take two. We might just actually waste the mana. We might not play Scrap Heap Scrounger because it doesn't do anything here. They can activate this too, which is like a lot of damage. If they make a guy, I think we're actually just dead to Karn. That's actually pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one too. All right, so I think we're I think we're pretty much out of this game. I'm gonna go to the next one because this is like. It's a lot of damage. All right. So I'm going to submit again. I will play first. Yeah, this hand seems great.
That was a lot of permanence. Pretty sure we can't lose with this hand. We're definitely going to lose, but it's okay because it feels like a good hand. <clears throat> Course of Portal is also like a Jace that you don't have to, you don't have to negative and you and you don't have to have double blue for. So that's pretty good. Oh, they went to six. All right, all right. Seems good. I'm not even sure it's worth it's definitely worth playing I think I was like it's not I'm not even sure if it's worth playing because if we draw metal worker but um yeah, I think it's still fine oh that's a nice slow hand yeah portal portal next turn is going to be great I played the Amazonian draft on MGA it enables some crazy turn one kills from no I haven't actually but I've seen a bunch of people posting about it isn't it where like all your spells are free or something like that? How grim. Things are looking grim here, guys. Worn Power Stone? Okay. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it. I don't know if it's worth going Signet into monolith in the signet because like you're only netting one mana from this but you're netting three from this everything is free and you get five mana a turn most decks are just mono cantrips so you draw your whole deck and draw everything is what do you get the five mana a turn for if everything's free though oh wow Come on. I'm just going to play the swamp here. We want all the mana we can get so we can go sort of body and equip next turn. <sighs> I would like another blue, but it's whatever. We can also just block here. I think I'm okay with blocking even just to draw two. All right. Do you make a dude? You do make a dude. Drawing two here, is that good? Yeah, I, I think Metalworker is not great for us. I'd rather just hit the second blue so we can do a Jasons. You can also activate this guy, jeez. One, two, three. Did we play land this turn? Oh, we did, didn't we? I'd really like to play body and mind and activate this guy, but that's not an option. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, we're just going to have to kill the... Uh... Oh, don't do that. Yeah, I really don't want you to make another 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three is fine. If they want to tap out to attack for 7, I think we're also okay with that. Iron Chef Sammy, have a good night, buddy. Yep, alright. Man, where's an ultimate price or a cast down when you need it? Top card, right? Oh, butter my biscuits. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. We'll jace. So we go to five. They attack jace. Actually, we're just going to reveal. Oh. Well, then. Probably taking whatever pile has two in it. Uh, ultimate price kills Neil's Pyrus, does it not? Oh, you're right, it wouldn't. That's actually terrible. 
because this is double color and this is no color, so. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna choose pile one. And then I'm just gonna play this. Because like we like we ultimate price doesn't kill any of these idiots. So now we can go one, two, three to a play, one, two to a one, two to equip, and then three to activate. No, it doesn't kill anything. I was just being dumb. I thought the land was wide. Going to six here, I don't think is terrible. I guess that's all right. Like we have this guy, right? They kill our Jace. Do they have an answer for this? Probably. They're probably gonna have an incinerate or something, right? It is white. It is also red. All of these things are true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine mana, ten mana, so we can make a five, five. I really want to attack their face when they have a Jace. Jace is the place. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this is great. All right, cool. So now we can actually play Walking Ballista for three, which is good because it prevents them from activating Needle Spires, and we can also just block the... I wish we had one more mana so we can actually equip this Skull Clamp, but we might just take three here, and they can't really activate this guy anymore, so... Or can they? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I think we're going to actually... No, oh, now they're going to... Yeah, attacking for four is still fine. It's a lot of... It's a lot of mana sources. <laughs> this is a place for the helpful hardware store. Folks, helpful hardware folks. Dang it. Okay. So, we mill you for five. That's actually pretty good sword thank you activate uh play a swamp equip you placid laughter thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it welcome welcome let's see what we hit here upheaval is perfect that's exactly what i wanted to avoid so, we did. All right, well, 10 cards down. Yep, that is not terrible. I also like how Sword of Body and Mind makes more dudes to wear the sword. Yikes. I mean, there's a lot of things. They, they have one card left. They could just be trying to activate Raging Ravine. And oh, I think they were trying to do that, and then they realized this is pro green, so it's not going to actually do much. So, we can go shoot, 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 right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
That's not bad. And if you try to block here, we can kill this guy. Hmm. We also probably want to get rid of a Johnny, right? Also, like, I mean, we don't want you to block with solemn simulacrum, so that's probably not ideal. Five, six, eight, we have ten mana, three of which is here. We're just going to go face here. I think it's stronger to, to mill them to three cards. Sure. Pay costs, huh? Um, yeah, all right. Ooh, that's a dude. That is a dude. One, two, three, four. I guess we don't actually have to equip. I'd rather just put a counter on this guy, right? This game three? Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. It lets us keep up ultimate price and keep up walking Ballista, putting a counter on it. Sword on True Name seems pretty unbeatable. When they have 12 cards, they're going to go to 10 cards. True Name, Mike. <laughs> God. Good times, good times. Is this game two or game three? I thought it was game three. I think it's one one. Um sure. Put a counter on it. And then we're gonna shoot the Ajani. And then they, then they, they don't get in the life either there. And if you want to attack with either of these, I'll just block it. Chosen player is a Woo Burgers. They might attack with both. Which is fine. I'll block the double strike one. Or, mm, yeah, it's fine. We're taking four from either one, so I might as well get rid of this guy so they don't have two. And then we can just chump block this guy forever if we want to. It's four damage either way. But at least this way we get to kill a thing, so. That's actually very safe. You. Y2J Crisis, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. So we get a wolf here and we get a Glenelinger Archmage, which is pretty safe. One, two, three, four, Archmage. We can probably also play Thief of Sanity. And I think we just turned the corner. So that's pretty good. I'm okay with it. Our deck is really interesting. I don't know if it's great. Our man is a little rough again. And we won perhaps the match, maybe? We won the match. Two lands in hand. Do I change anything? I don't think so. 
Born Power Stone is nice. Animate Dead, I mean, like, we have Compulsive Research and Literal Core to discard. I guess, I don't know if that's enough, though. And we could also be playing the Unus Prowler, but the problem is, like, we don't have enough big creatures to play. We could also just get, get one of their guys, which is usually going to be an issue. If the, like, outside of that, that previous deck wasn't that great of a, an interaction, but. I want to ship this hand. This hand is insane. Um, yeah, I'll keep an Ophiomancer. This is turn two, turn one Scrap Heap Scrounger, turn two Ophiomancer. Super Mad Lad, have a good night, buddy. Hope your, hope your KFC is uh, well stocked in the near future. Wow, that was, that was rude. Main deck Ancient Grudge, here comes a green mana. Nope, all right. Sure. <laughs> oh God, are we just dead here? We could mind twist for one and just hope to hit the Splinter Twin before they kill us. We're gonna. This is a risky block. If I don't get this figure or something. Well, they did not kill us, which is nice. That's a nice feature. I like not being dead. Let's try this guy. Let's see if you got a counter spell. They did. All right. Well, now our mind twist is stronger. We can also play shackles once we hit five mana. So that's pretty good. Oh, let's do that. You counter this too? Hmm. That's tempting, but eh, not great. Alright, well. So far we've seen Force of Will, Mystical Tutor, and Deceiver Exarch, all of which are very, very solid. Treasure Cruise. Okay. Can we hit a land and then we can just mill four of those cards? That would be good. Oh, we can mill all of them if we hit a land? We didn't hit a land, but I think I'm still going to do it for three. Pestermite. Kiki G gone. And Search. That's pretty good. All right. Feeling better about this matchup now that we've seen a Pestermite and a Kiki G hit the graveyard. Do you have two more counter spells in hand? Of course you do. Cryptic command. <sighs> so we have cryptic command, force of will, and mana drain so far. That's good. Fascinating. Sphinx's revelation in your four color deck. I mean, I think we also have some pretty good cards. Their cards are just counters for our cards, unfortunately. I'm going to Sphinx's Rev for three. Oh, Resto and... Yeah, sure. Sure. So they have Resto, Deceiver, Exarch, Pestermite, and Kiki GK. I have to assume they have Splinter Twin as well. In their hand right now, I bet. Hmm. 
Nope. All right. Well, I have one card. If it's time walk, I'm going to be real sad. God, one land would be great here. <laughs> An island particularly would be great. Come on. Oh, island one time. Swamp Arena. All right. I only have one card. Let's see what this does. I mean, they have to block this, right? Because it's utterly insane if you don't block this guy. Oh, wow. We just win the game. I guess Thief of Sanity is... Uh, wow, that was insane. Thief of Sanity was sort of body and mind, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. I don't know if that's how you do it. It seemed like that was how you do it, but I could be wrong. Yeah, we're just going to submit like this. I think our deck is fine. And we also have like, a terrible sideboard. That was even better than I thought. Yeah, it was pretty good. They have to block. Not if I concede. I don't have to block anything. I could just scoop them up right here. You don't know. actually quite surprised that game went the way it did i thought they were doing very well especially after like uh yep that's not gonna do it that is significantly better i'm gonna bottom this and hope for a second blue source because our hand is pretty blued up i really hope we can blue ourselves uh, I'm just going to pass here. I don't want them to know about Mox Ruby if we're not going to cast anything off of it. Whereas if we can play Island and just go second turn True Name Nemesis, I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Hmm. Well, not ideal. We might just actually want one more blue source. I think we do. I don't know what's happening here, so I'm trying to... Yeah, that would have been a great turn for a blue... Oh my god, blue source into them tapped out into True Name Nemesis. Yeah, we're just going to kill that dude. That lady. <sighs> Taking a hit. Shut up and take my money! One happy holidays book. Going to Germany for three weeks, so I probably won't be able to catch you live for a bit. Jarman, have a good, have a good vacation, buddy. Enjoy Germany. Tells you Germans I said hi. Well, that was unfortunate that we didn't get a thing there. You showed up for the stream with an armless, legless mic on a stool, and he was wearing a long blonde wig. You said nothing about it and answered all questions for him and an, an imitated mic. So weird. Well, that is a weird dream. My God. Wow, that is this stream is really uh, affecting the dream there. I'm just gonna play Skull Clamp. What are you gonna do about that? Nothing. More like Jarmany. Wow, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I can appreciate that level of. So they have no red, but they're playing like the Splinter Twin deck? I don't understand. Alright, let's see what you get. Uh, 
cryptic command. I see. I don't really want to cast down this thing because it doesn't do anything. So we're just going to wait. We'll let them play their cryptic command. We do need one more land here. I mean, we're going to play Shackles, and I'm sure it's going to resolve, but once we hit an island, I hope they insta-snap off a Cryptic Command here. This card's great in the long game. Yeah, Cryptic Command this dude. Oh, Spell Queller? Dang. Rude. Hmm. Yeah, you got a little red source for yourself. Yeah, this game would be a, a lot better if we didn't miss five land drops. But what do I know? But that's none of my business. Oh, they took down their shield. They took down their cryptic command shield. Which means they probably also have uh, mana drain in hand. Oh, the triple red kiki jiki. A bold strategy. Yeah, if they counter this, we're probably just going to scoop here. Yeah, that's not. We're not going to give you four free mana and um and have nothing on board to that. We're going to bring in the other island, take out one of the swamps. <sighs> the double blue has been pretty problematic. Yep, mulligan in this hand. Keeping this hand. All right, so let's see if we can sneak this guy down. Oh, they went to six. Um, God, how greedy are we? We can bottom this. Oh, God, we're making a mistake, right? Yeah, Florida's weather is actually legit right now. It's like 50 degrees. It's like perfect. We just want to hit, we want to hit Ancient, not Ancient Tomb. Eh, Ancient Tomb's also fine. But we want to hit Mox Ruby off the top so we can just go turn two True Name Nemesis before they have any recourse for it. Oh, they took two. Grim Lava Mancer. All right. It was pretty greedy, but... Oh, you're tapping out. I see. Tell me more. True name, Nemesis. No blocks. When I was a nemesis, my father told me. Don't have mana drain all three games. That would be really sad. This is the best play here, because next turn this is 5, and this is also 5. And I don't want to throw this down when they can just kill it. So if they want to Ancient Grudge this, it means the other ones survive. And they also didn't Ancient Grudge it, so... Yep. Tap out for a stupid blue creature. Dang it, you didn't do it. We vote for Homage, right? If homage gets more votes, yeah. I just have a feeling you have like cryptic command here. Tap all my dudes. Hmm. 
More like smell queller, more like smell smeller. Dang it. Like that, we know they have cryptic command. They have four lands. I'm just gonna drop a scrounger. If you want to tap this down, it's fine. Counter this, tap this guy down. It's okay. It's okay. I'm actually tempted to not like if I also spell quiller is also a thing which we take one two I guess we only take four yeah you can definitely counter this that's totally fine you got it more like smell smeller When I was a young boy. I actually don't even like that song. I don't know why it's in my head. My grandfather used to smell gases in mines. He was a canary. Wow. Your grandfather saved a lot of lives. Sells conscripts, stealing scrounge. What is it? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's fine. I'm gonna sort of body and mind you, buddy. Mage. Oh, animate dead. Fascinating. Oh god, I wish we had one more land. <laughs> oh boy. We can actually attack with this guy. It's gonna deal five and get a wolf, and then we get a thing. We're gonna take two in the three four we can also just bribery here it's actually surprisingly aggressive we take three in there we're at three they have three cards grim lavamancer turns on if we mill them i'm gonna bribery here and see what we can get elash norn let's do that Wow. <laughs> okay, that'll do. That'll do. Hopefully don't steal this, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. We should have actually taken a better look at your deck. I think we're just way too excited about Eleshnorn. But, I mean, even if they end up killing Eleshnorn, this is only five. So I wanted to make sure we put them down to lethal. So... A gamble but and we win the match wow we are 2-0 with this deck that is surprising literally what happened to me oh they briberied for the Eleshnorn yeah that's pretty gas that's pretty just don't put Eleshnorn in your deck what problem is Yeah, our deck seems pretty sweet. I'm okay with it. Mm. I'm pretty sure the Mercadian Mass Brainstorm is my favorite brainstorm. Backlight. By they, we are talking Elk Tears twice. Did he he bribery you twice to get your to get your uh your Elishnorn twice? That's pretty messed up, dude. What a monster. I'm going to keep this because we added another uh, we added another island to the deck so our odds of hitting an island are higher like I think we have like nine white nine blue sources plus if we hit like ancient tomb or mox we get turn two metal worker 
So this hand has actually got a lot got a lot going on for it. With 11 or 12 trophies, can't stop farting again at the top of the leaderboards. To be able to win so much with while passing so much gas is kind of remarkable. I agree with you. And one time, not what we're looking for, unfortunately, but uh, it's okay. I just want to play this. Nope. Uh, am I locked? Am I? Okay, there we go. We did it. Nope, not doing any of these things. Steal your Lesh once, shame on him. Steal it twice, shame on you. That's true. One of the tech quacker which you might not, might not be aware of is you board out like a lot of your bigger creatures that you might lose to if they steal them. So like if you had Emrakul in your deck, you'd probably board it out if you saw bribery. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. We have a hostage taker though. A blue source would be nice. It's not a not a blue source. It's not good. I'm aware. Okay, take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. I'm not the one who lost to double to double bribery and uh Dang, they didn't want to say carnage. That's really sad. Look at this value. We just get to kill this thing. It's okay. We'll eventually cast Tassigar off the cards we discard to hand size. Yeah. Silver linings, my friend. Silver linings. I mean, we're playing 16 lands. It's not like we're playing 15 or 14. Like, it's only one less land than average. So I'm really kind of surprised at the amount of uh, of games where we just haven't hit a third land drop. Yep, that's cool. We're just not going to play out the game where you want to waste land, where you're going to strip mine my, my swamp. Cool. Tinker, Recurring Nightmare, Power Stone. I don't think any of these cards are particularly good. Like, if we have three mana for one Power Stone, we're already playing most of the stuff we want to play anyway. I wish we had more artifact removal, but being black, being straight black, blue, it's not super prevalent. Mulligan. Go to five. Seems good. You know what? We'll keep it. Keep you two. Sounds good. Now we need one more land for a metal worker, which should be able to uh, chain us into a bribery if it's a blue source. It's going to be a creeping tarpet off the top, right? Oh, the old soul ring. I he's getting soul ring more consistently than I'm getting lands. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. Oh, good times. Whatever. That's how magic works sometimes. Thank you. Kodaria, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Seven months in a row. That is a surprising amount of time. Really appreciate it. Land. Well, it's actually the perfect land, too. If this guy resolves, probably it's not going to because they have a, an island in play. So they're probably going to hard cast a daze, and we're going to feel bad about our life choices. Mm. Well, this is where they go Garrick Relentless and kill it. If they had a Garrick Relentless, they probably would have played it, though, right? I have no idea what their six cards are, but I don't think Metalworker is... Well, now they're just going to get Garrick Relentless and kill this guy. Uh, 
Uh, we're playing a 15 land deck with a mock, so it's actually 16 lands. 16 mana sources. Well, shit. Here we go. No, thank you for the support. Don't you get in a thank you battle with me, buddy. Because we'll both win. We're both winners here. Everybody wins. Eight mana, huh? Nine mana. Ten mana. Here we go. Oh, that's actually fine. That's... We'll see. We'll see what's happening. Annihilator 4 means 1, 2, 3, 4. We get to keep the Emrakul. Oh, wow. And you get a Frantic Search? Jesus. You get to untap your lands? This has been, this has been a hell of a turn. Reclamation Sage. Oh, my God. Go F yourself, man. Just go F yourself. Thank you. Good times were had by literal no one. Would have drawn this. We would have been able to go bribery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bribery. I don't know. Like, if they had Emrakul, like, they would have been able to attack. We would have sacked these four. Emrakul would have killed them. So, I mean, if they don't have Time Walk and they do have Emrakul in the deck, we're actually in good shape. But... I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. And you'll get 15% off with that affiliate link, which helps me out. It helps you out. And if you're looking for that kind of thing anyway, lounge pants, undies, uh, onesies, socks, tees, anything like that, super soft micromodal cotton, please check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can also check out Aaron Kane custom deck boxes. The links are in the description, both on my Twitch profile and my uh, YouTube description. So you can check that out. His stuff is amazing. His work, his uh, his his wood craftsmanship is is pretty insane. He built me a, a custom cube box out of Coco Bolo wood, which is amazing. He has like 40 types of wood. And you get 10% off with promo code Frank. So be sure to check that out. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. I will see you next time.